us to govern the universe as aspects of a power. To Brahma, she gave the road of Creator and set the wise Saraswati, the primeval sound, as his concert. Together, they would create the universe. She assigned the role of preserver, of protector in all my needful incarnations, with Lakshmi as my consort, so that prosperity and wealth would be at my fingertips. Rudra would become the lord of time, both destroyer and regenerator of the universe and would grow to surpass all Shakti's other forms. One half would become Lord Shiva, destroyer of evil. The other, but you know this, Durga, for the other half was you.
Her love strengthens her purpose. Thank <laughs> you. 
Whatever comes to us, Ma Durga will watch over us. She has always been one of yours. And she's correct. You think too much of this one. She is important. She holds hope for the mortals of the world. Of course I will watch over her. of such beauty and intricate design should have been created as a bastion of war? War is the means they are given to change the world. They only give it the respect that it is due. War is not the only way. It was Golu. Why did the demons want him? Just summoned a dark mandala, a portal to another place. Raji rushed to stop them. But the demon chieftain blocked her path. And suddenly Golu was gone.
The demon defeated, the children rushed to thank Raji. But the stone had been weakened by the dark mandala. Perhaps Raji was about to die. Perhaps she had failed. Then the mystics came. They took Raji's body and they carried it away. As Raji drifted, a vision came to her. Who was that with her brother? What did they want? She awoke on the boat and in the far distance she could see a city. Great kings of the past had fashioned it and had given their lives for it. But now the inhabitants were enthralled to a vast, lurking shadow, stripped of their own will. Guardians blessed Raji, for she was the only hope for these people. Do I ask too much of her? Time again will tell. A white peacock. What can it mean? What are those creatures that chase it? <laughs> the Garuda game. But see. Rangda has the soldiers under her spell. A fresh mortal at the gate? Greetings, little fly. Welcome to my web. <laughs>
city of such beautiful waters that the waters are now choked with poison. Mighty Lord Vishnu. This must be Hiranyanagari. I have heard such tales of this place. <sighs> she recognizes the city built to your glory. Are you not pleased, O oh Vishnu? It was my city indeed. Built to house my temple. But it is no longer mine. A great shadow. Demons of Ranga in my city. Her shadow is long. You must defeat them, Raji. She cannot hear you, but she knows what to do. City filled with marvels. Delicate carvings and intricate mechanisms. Mills powered by water. Wheels that turn other wheels. That open gates and lift great weights. Jalasura, demons of water, mechanical slaves to Ranga. Be careful, my Raja. Avoid their gaze. The peacock, it cries out. Is it hurt? gives her a chance. But the way is blocked. Look, the gaging waters are high. 
there are mechanisms to lower them. But what does she know of cocks and wings? She is clever, this girl. She will find a way. can be put right, Vishnu. It is why we are here. Oh, corruption. She must cleanse this, Durga. She must cleanse all of this. She will, and perhaps the tree will grant her another vision of the future. did this being want with Golu? To instruct him? To control him? Raji did not know what I knew. Here lay our greatest peril. To think that there is fighting even in places of worship. There is worship and fighting if it is for the right cause.
This little fry has a sting. Who is this intruder? And why does she bear my wrath?
The water's drained. It is not enough. There is more to do. Another mechanism to find. She must hurry. We do not want Randa to notice until Raji is prepared. What about us, Didi? Why do we have no mother, no father? They are up there, in the stars, little brother. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is a place of cunning. The mills, the water that feeds the green fields. There is no denying it is clever, Vishnu. It is such a concentration of power. And now it is in Ramda's hands. You will not keep me from Golu! <laughs> It is the story of Garuda. There were two sisters, Kadru and Vinita, the most dear of wives of Maharshi Kashyap. He granted each a boon to show his affection. Kadru asked to become the mother of a thousand sons. Vinita asked for just one son but that he must be more powerful than the thousand sons of Kadru. Blessed by the Maharshi, Kadru gave birth to one thousand eggs. Vinita gave birth to only two eggs. With time, Kadru's eggs began to hatch. Inside each one, was a coiling snake. Vinita, impatient and 
and jealous that her sister's eggs had already hatched, took it upon herself to break open one of her own eggs. Inside Vinita's egg was a half-formed bird-like creature. Enraged by his mother's actions, he cursed her, saying that she would be a slave to cut through until her second egg hatched. And if she did not show patience with that hatching, she would forever be a slave. And so, under the curse of a half-formed offspring, and through the machinations of Kadru and her Naga children, Vedita became a slave to her sister. Years passed until one day, Vedita's second egg finally hatched. From it emerged Garuda, the king of birds. Seeing his mother's servitude, Garuda asked the Nagas to free her. They agreed, but on the condition that Garuda would fly to heaven and fetch for them the elixir of immortality. Garuda, for his mother's sake, flew to the heaven of the Devas. He was too powerful for the Devas to defeat, and so seized the elixir from them. I saw that Garuda did not want the elixir for himself, and so I manifested myself to him. Because his heart was pure, I granted him the gift of immortality. In return, he granted me the gift of becoming my mount. Should I so desire it, I warned Garuda of the deceptive nature of the Nagas. So Garuda returned to the Nagas with the elixir, but tricked them, telling them that it could only be consumed after they had purified themselves in the holy river. He attacked them unsuspecting as they bathed and ate them up. He freed his mother, Vinita. For safekeeping, Brahma took the elixir and bore it back to the heavens.
This is one of the mechanisms that will lower the Guardian waters. Is it too much for her? Cogs and levers. This is no challenge compared to fighting demons. Lord Vishnu's temple. Well done, Raji. Maybe there I can find help. The waters flow, my poison dispelled. You will suffer for this trespasser. Siddhartha, the 
awakened one, the sage and the teacher. Thank you for your many blessings, Lord Vishnu. I will use these in your name. Guide me, please, my Lord, for I do not know why I am here. Child, save Mayura and it will save you. You will not keep me from Molu! Oh, 